OK, now to put a Bezier to some use. We have this foreground, that background, we're going to lay one over the other. Bezier, load it up. Right, we don't need it in the tree, in the node tree, to start using it. We can just use its on-screen controls to put down a rough shape. Don't go crazy at this stage. Just command option click to lay down our points and maybe select those three and cusp them C. So now we've got that plus that. Let's take the RGB of here, shuffle, copy, and move the Bezier of that into there. You can see. There's the RGB of the foreground, and there's the alpha of the Bezier. OK. And we can check that. A for alpha. OK. So now let's do a rough composite and see what it looks like. We need a merge. And the B background feed going into there. And currently it's compositing nicely, but we're getting some uh, misting in the background, which implies that it hasn't been pre multiplied. So we pre mult. And now there we go. Nice. OK. So to have a good look at what we're doing, we need a sort of a before and after view. So we need to quickly configure our layout so that it can offer that. We pull the divider over, split horizontal up there, new viewer, take that viewer, move its read into there. OK, we can disable the on-screen controls there and make invisible the uh, timeline and stuff in both those views. What else do we need? I think that's about it. OK, and if we want, we can Command-3 to zoom in on one level of detail and Command-3 to zoom in on the same level of detail. Now, the whole science of putting down an effective mask, an effective Bezier, is to not use too many points. So don't, for example, command option, command option, add lots of these tiny little points everywhere. That is very, very, very bad practice. It's difficult to animate. It's difficult to maintain. And it doesn't make sense. It's not necessary. Now we can, let's say, C cusp that, cusp that. Zoom in a bit. See. So I've got a I've got a cusp here. Whoop. Here. Another smooth one here. Let's cusp that. Smooth that. OK, so you get the picture. We can be even more economical than that, though. We can, say, delete that. Smooth that. X break it, which means we can pull that down independently. So we have a smooth coming in there and a sharp coming out there. We can do something similar here. You can Z for smooth. X for break, which means we can well, pull that up there. And C for smooth, X for break, and pull that up there. And now those two combined means we can now delete this fella. I said rather hastily. So and as we go through our mask, 
we try and draw some kind of creative line between what we see here, this outline, and what we know we can get away with here, what is economical to mask out. You're not trying to do it exactly. When you're masking out, you're as much drawing as you are masking. So it's, it's quite a creative act.